Hi guys, so I'm super excited for today's tutorial because I get to do this tutorial on Juvia's Place brand new Warrior palette which came out last week and I was able to pre-order it. So I really do hope that you enjoy this look that I've created today for this video. Please enjoy it because I did it twice. Now with my E23 brush by Morphe Brushes, I'm going to go into the shade Kano. It's that matte brown looking shade in the palette. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. I'm going to go right into my socket with light motions. My hand is at the end of my brush to map out exactly where I want the shade. And then I bring the transition shade towards my nose just as a little contour because it looks good in pictures. And I really like this color as well as an eyeshadow, but also as like a bronzer too. And then I start to go, I start to move my hand up, a little more up on the brush, just like with a heavier hand pretty much. And now I'm just going to build my color once I map out where I want this transition shade to go. Now going into my second transition shade, Mino, which is that really dark brown matte chocolate looking color in the palette i'm gonna go into that with a super light hand that is important if you go in too heavy it's so dark you can completely mess the look up and have to start over so you want to make sure you're going in a super light hand and i'm gonna dig that right into my crease bringing the shade all the way down to the front of my eyelid like towards the end now doing the same exact thing to the other eye i'm just slowly building up the color again you don't want to just go straight in for a dark you want to slowly build it because if you go right in with a heavy hand you'll completely mess it up so i'm just building the color the color up the darker the more defined the cut crease will look which just makes for a bomb cut crease my tarp tape shape concealer in the color tan i went ahead and cut a half crease and now with my real techniques blending brush i'm just lightly blending out that half cut crease for a smooth application here I am spraying my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush with the MAC Fix It Primer and then I went into the shade Amina. It's a shimmery shade in the palette and I placed that in the middle. And now with that same eyeshadow brush, I just used the other side. I am placing More Me, another shimmery color in the palette and I'm placing that in the inner front corner of my eyelid. And now with a completely different flat brush, I'm taking that dark brown shimmery shade in the palette called Benin and I am putting that towards the end of my half cut crease. So I went ahead and finished the other eye, then I just touched up on some, some of the transition shades, and then I smoked out a winged eyeliner, and now I'm just finishing up the look. Yay, and for my lips today, I decided to use Fenty Beauty's Stunna Lips, the red lip paint. It is a matte, bold red lips, and I also decided to go ahead and put my favorite gloss on top, which is the Fenty Balm. I use that stuff like chapstick. It's, it's just great. The formula is magic. And this is my final and completed look using Juvia's Place brand new Warriors palette. I love the palette as do I love all of their palettes. I hope that you enjoyed this look and be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe and comment below. I'll be back Saturday with another freaking tutorial.